Hi everyone, welcome back. Last we talk about this Aruko detector. Today we are going to talk about Charuko detector. What does this Charuko means is that maybe we can check the OpenCV documentation. Is there is a beautiful explanations in this page, and uh, the Charuko is the combination of the chessboard and the Aruko, so it becomes a uh, Charuko. Um, uh, why, why we need this uh, board? Because uh, in camera calibration we must use chessboard, but in some cases the cameras are not really able to detect this uh, black. Uh, uh, black and white uh, squares easily so to make it more robust to make it more accurate we are adding the aruko markers into these white uh, squares so it's making because detecting the aruko is easier than the detecting uh, uh, simple squares so this make it more robust so they are integrating their combination these two board and making a new board then we are uh, mostly using this board for the camera calibration uh, for uh, roughly maybe if we want to talk about the camera calibration because I, this is a really comprehensive topic and I'm planning to make a, a different uh, video for the purpose of this camera calibration. Um, but roughly if you talk because if you are watching this video maybe somehow you came into here and you are thinking you need camera calibration. Camera calibration is only needed for uh, if you really need uh, detailed things you want to measure. For example some industrial application or for some, if you have fisheye camera, because the in the fisheye camera the uh, view is really circular, so you are you want to um, calibrate it. In those cases, we need because I, I see some people around they are uh, just making some AI kind of things and their uh, view is uh, fine. No need calibration because they are not measuring something. Then they are still trying to make the camera calibration. This is a very important topic for this one. Uh, if you do, maybe in some cases they are thinking for all of the things we need camera calibration. There is this is totally wrong. In most of the case, you are not gonna need camera calibration. So I'm just making this warning because if the people are directly watching this video, they really need to know before starting. Maybe they don't need even camera calibration. Okay, as I said, I'm gonna make a different uh, comprehensive video for this calibration issue and uh, for this video simply I want to show uh, how to uh, initialize this constructor and uh, we can directly also make a simple draw a charuko board like in here how we can draw uh, how we can uh, initialize for example here five board and seven I think here in the y-axis so you can change the number of the squares and you can change the uh, dictionary which is uh, about the size of the Arucos inside. Okay, we can switch to the code part and also I already get the same uh, picture from that documentation. There is a Charuko in here, you see there is pixelized. It's not really good uh, picture I can say the, about the resolution. For example, this is 6x6 and if we run the code which from the previous video, now it's able to detect these Charukos. Now, uh, this is a Charuko board. Uh, in the next video, most probably we are gonna learn how to detect this uh, Charuko board because it's different. It's not gonna detect this. It's gonna detect the corners, these corners, which is gonna be used for the camera calibration. And yeah, this can be the uh, another video topic. But for now, I can uh, maybe remove here. Uh, I just want to simply uh, draw a Charuko board, and here dictionary can stay. And also we can directly initialize the Charuko. Just Charuko board and is equal to just Charuko board and is equal to um, Aruko and uh, then maybe just initializing the Charuko board which is needed for uh, let's see size, uh, square length, marker length and the dictionary. What this size means maybe we can directly go to the uh, here there is some explanation all I need is uh, for parameter. I can copy here and this size no size number of that I with which I we already talked the size of the squares for example for this example there is three four five square and here you see seven square five times seven is created by these two parameters it means the square length means uh, chessboard square side length normal in meters so we are we need to give in meter unit and here mark length in the side length uh, same unit and square length so these are the some uh, length of the physical length of the chessboard we want to define and dictionary uh, which we already talked in the previous video dictionary is dictionary so IDs for now we don't need IDs 
so we can switch to here uh, we need to define this um, square in the uh, first of all this should be in the integer which is square num in x direction which is maybe we can start with 5 also and square num in um, y direction is equal to 7 so after that also we need to make the we need to define the physical length of these um, these squares unit in the physical environment how it's gonna be looks like so we can define it maybe um square length is equal to 0 0.04 which is gonna be 4 centimeter and uh, after this is done also we need to marker length which is gonna be the aruko length inside the squares so it can be the marker length oops is equal should be smaller than this 0 0.04 of course so let's define as 0 0.2 and uh, okay this should be double of course or flat let make it flat and after this is done we can put our parameters the first one is gonna be the size which is cv size uh, so this square num x oops square num number of squares in the x direction number of squares in the y direction after this we need to give the uh, square length which is four centimeters so square length and marker length okay and the last one is dictionary which we already defined so after this is done um after this is done we already get our charuko board how to draw it there is already a generate image also this is if you are using different version of OpenCV is gonna changeable because in some cases you need to use there is a function as draw uh, draw or draw image kind of but for this version which is the 4.8 version I'm using generate image is the function I need and inside this what I need I need the size uh, which is gonna be my image looks like so I give 5 7 so maybe size is can be 500 to 700 which is gonna be ratio the ratio to protect the ratio the image you can draw to my image it's not important um, margin size actually uh, it's not really important it's about the border so we can skip it currently it can stay as zero and after that I, I'm expecting to see my Aruko board in here you see now we define here two centimeter for example if you increase it little it's gonna getting longer if you make it the same size with the uh, square is crushing so it's not letting you for example like this if I try so yeah it looks like this so it doesn't let you equal or bigger than the square size okay but two is more beautiful to see okay so this is my aruka border you can play with the squares currently we see five uh in five number of five square in the x-axis and the y-axis seven if you make it uh, let's say 11 and make it let's say seven it's gonna update according now i see something different so after you get this image you can save and you can uh print you can put it a uh, surface then is ready to use in physical environment and you can use that for camera calibration this is about the um, generating the charuko board and in the next video we are gonna see to detect the corners of this charuko board i'm done for this video thanks for watching see you in the next videos